Over the last two months, I have come to the realization that our medical system is absolutely fucked. <gasps> and what's more terrifying is that a lot of people out there are treating their finances exactly the same way. Now, those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. So I want to give you a little bit of a background story and then kind of go into this entire subject. Many of you might know, they've been following me for some time, that about three months ago, I had a seizure out of nowhere, never had anything, any experience like that. And I simply just, you know, dropped an hour later, woke up in the hospital with a bunch of tubes sticking out of my arms and mouth and all that. And they told me that I had a seizure. And over the following two months, I, you know, I experienced anxiety, panic attacks, depression, all these things. I've been working with hypnotists, been working with mindset trainers, been working with, you know, nutritionists and all that. And what I came to realize is that our medical system is absolutely fucked. When I started going to doctors and when I started going to, you know, kind of trying to find out what's going on, at first I was told that there is nothing wrong with me. They did blood tests and nothing came back negative. Everything was good. Um, they did CAT scan to the head. Everything came back good. And then I was told that I need to go and do an MRI. When they did an MRI, they found that I have a scar in my brain. Now I started freaking out and I thought I was about to die in six months. And then my neurologist did a bunch of tests and then he told me that I was okay. And so over the following two months, I started experiencing things, one from anxiety, which I have other videos where I talk about that and, and how I was able to battle or work with anxiety. And I still am, I, I'm not 100% clear, but I have created a bunch of systems that I talk about in my channel and other videos. If you just go to the channel and just type anxiety, you'll see a bunch of videos about that. But most importantly, what I came to realize is that the reason why some of those doctors or my previous doctors even were not able to see anything because you don't just fall out of nowhere and have a seizure when you are, you know, 5'10", 150 pounds, work out six days a week, eat fresh foods and eat great foods every single day out of nowhere. Something has been building up all these years to come to this point. And I do, you know, quarterly and semi-annual checkups with my doctor. And he's always told me that I'm perfectly fine. But you see, what he was testing for is looking for disease, looking for like the top, the surface. And when I started, you know, digging deep into, well, why were they doing extra tests and MRIs and extra blood tests and all that stuff? Well, it's because I have health insurance and my health insurance is, is only willing to pay X amount for X amount of tests. So for the doctor, doctor wants to get paid. So what they're going to do is they're just going to, you know, stack on whatever that the insurance is going to pay for. Otherwise insurance wouldn't pay for, and they're intimidated to come to me and say, Hey man, you know, are you willing to pay cash for us to do all this extra stuff because your insurance won't cover? And I would be willing, but the average person would not be willing to pay. And so that's why the doctor is, you know, they everything they have to label. Well, is this a disease? Is this not a disease? This gets this pill, this gets that pill. And the insurance is simply, their interest is not you as the patient. Their interest is their investors. Their interest is their pockets, right? And so who becomes the sacrifice as the patient? And so that's kind of put me on a journey to finding alternative medicine and, and looking for spiritual healing and looking for, you know, holistic doctors, nutritionists that were willing to go and do all these tests and find out all these things for me to find that all these underlying conditions or just simply foods and nutritions and things in my diet that I just simply need to shift a little bit. And the reason why the seizure happened is because all these things were stacking up for years and decades and bam, out of nowhere, the seizure happened, right? When I started kind of thinking about that and then looking at finances, I saw a similarity. And the similarity that I found was that us humans were built to be reactive and not proactive. Because you see, the only reason why I'm going in and I'm digging into all these things and I'm finding alternative doctors is simply because something happened and I'm pretty much reacting to it. Had I been proactive, which is like preventing things from happening, I probably would have been doing what I'm doing right now last year, two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. But humans in nature, we are reactive. So we'll wait for something to happen for you to crash and, 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 and fall and have a seizure or for your finances to go down to shit or for you to get fired or for the recession to hit or for the interest rate to quadruple in like a 30 day period or for risk, you know, for inflation to go from one to 3% per year to like 9% per month. Right. And so that's when we start wanting to do things. 
And what I'm here to tell you is that recession is right around the corner. In fact, we're probably in it. Inflation is at its highest that it's ever been. They have printed more money over the last 18 months than they had in the last 50 or 75 years, right? And so obviously inflation is going to happen because there's so much money in the world that its value is decreasing, right? A gallon of milk that used to be two, three, four dollars now it's five, six, seven dollars. A a a gallon of gas that used to be you know three, four dollars now it's five, six, seven dollars, right? So you have to start thinking that if you're earning seventy five thousand dollars a year or if you're earning forty thousand dollars a year, its value is depreciating. And you ha will have to start thinking of how you can be proactive instead of reactive. Because once the, and this is, by the way, this is on a global level. This is not just in the US, United States. Just like the pandemic happened on a global level, the entire world is experiencing an economic meltdown in a way or another, right? In different resources and different things. So you as a human, as a part of this world and this economy, we live in, a, in an economic world. You have to start thinking about how can I be proactive and not wait until they say, well, recession is here. Now wait until, you know, your, your company or your job or your business shuts down because you just can't afford to advertise anymore. They can't afford to pay, you know, 500 people anymore or whatever it is. Elon Musk has already said that Tesla is going to stop hiring new people and they're going to fire 10% preparing for recession. Tesla, Imagine what's going to happen once the recession is here, how many more people they're going to fire. So start looking into your finances and start thinking about how can I be smart and how can I start being proactive? And so if you have been thinking about, well, I want to start a business and I, you've been thinking about this for a month, six months, 12 months, five years, this is the perfect time for you to do it. The reasons being, number one, you want to be proactive and not reactive because once shit hits the fan, it's going to be near impossible for you to do it. Number two, you want to make sure that if things do happen for you, you might have only a month or two or three months of savings. You want to be prepared, right? You want to have enough. Number three, business doesn't just start and succeed overnight. Business needs time to succeed, right? And so this is very important for you to understand. And if I can tell you a secret, if you bring your ear to the mic, I want to tell you to the speaker, I want to tell you a secret because for me personally, the one business that I've been stuck with all of these last seven years is Amazon FBA. And here's why. The reason why I've been stuck with Amazon FBA for the past seven years is simply because people will always want to buy things, regardless what is happening. One of my team members came in the other day and was telling me, Hey man, do you really feel that people will always want to like enroll in BJK University? And I said, why you ask? He said, well, you know, obviously this is a skill. Like this is not a job, right? Like when people are unsecure or when they don't feel safe, they want like safety and safety doesn't necessarily mean starting a business because we're starting business. There's risks there. You have to invest money. You have to invest time. They might necessarily not want to start selling on Amazon. They might want to find a job or they want, you know, might, might want to start, you know, get another job or whatever, something that they can guarantee a paycheck at the end of the week. And I said, here's one thing. One thing you have to think about is that people around the world will always want to improve their skill set because, and this is because of this one reason. Regardless who you are, you want a better life. I don't care if you've got $100 in the bank or if you've got $100 million in the bank, you always want the next thing. The reason being is because humans, we are built to progress. We are built to work. The whole idea of I want to retire at 40 or 50 or 60 is a myth. The reason being is humans are built to work. And when you're not working, you're bored. And when you're bored, you get in trouble. And so this is why it's very important for us to always focus on what can I do to keep progressing, keep improving? That's when we are 100% fulfilled deep down, right? And so this is why it's important for you to understand is that the reason why you are here and not here is level of awareness. And the only way for you to, to close that gap is to simply learn your way up. So if you're making... $40,000 a year and you want to make $75,000 a year, you just need to find a way to make $75,000 and then close that gap by learning a way of how to go to $75,000, right? And one of those ways is Amazon FBA. It's something that I've been doing for the last seven years. 
and it continues to become more viable year over year because people are always going to want and need to buy things. And it is a lot more convenient to go to, you know, somewhere on your phone or computer, clicks a couple of clicks of a button and buy something. And instead of simply being, you know, going to the store, dressing up, going to the store, standing in line, you know, you might get COVID from someone, gas is five, six dollars a gallon, you're spending all this, you know, money on gas and stuff like that. And that's why personally, I always suggest people to start their own business on Amazon. If you want to learn how BJK University can help you, click the link below this video and see how we can be part of your journey to closing that gap between where you are and where you want to be, and then just kind of help you learn that gap. But outside of that, the only one thing that I want to leave you with in this video is be proactive and not reactive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.